Hello, uh, I'm Bias Trades here, and today I'm going to be taking you through another way to journal and a new uh, affiliate that I am with, uh, TraderSync. I think if you've probably been in the trading uh, community, you probably know about them. They're uh, sponsoring and affiliate with a lot of other good traders, and I'm very, very happy that I've been picked to be one of them. Um, I'm absolutely stoked and I recently imported like this month's trades all onto TraderSync and I'll be taking you through some of those results, some of the things I love about them, um, some of the main things I use and all that kind of stuff. Um, stick around and you'll also have an affiliate and I think soon there'll be a 15% off for people that use my uh, affiliate link. If you want to support my channel and find use from my channel as well, from all the videos I post or from the charts I post on Twitter, please use the uh, link if you're feeling like you need a really good way to journal and a easier way to journal, you know? This is definitely the way to go and get trader sync. So let's go into the first slide. Um, this is how the dashboard looks for trader sync. Uh, it can be a bit overwhelming um, straight away when you get into it. But overall, I think it is a lot easier to see than, you know, on an Excel sheet or uh, on note taking by yourself by hand or something like that. This is really cool that you can see a lot of these stats and you can change them to see um, different things. So personally, for me, I always like to have my um, returns up in the top left so you can see them here. Um, then you can see the recent trade, so loss, win, 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 loss, loss, loss. Uh, you can see the setups, which is a huge thing, and I'll be getting into it a bit more, of how you can um, tag trades with your setups, and then you can see how those setups are performing. You can set the date range to see if they're performing recently better or worse compared to before. It's just amazing. And then you can also add mistakes. Um, I'll be getting into this even more as well, but mistakes, oh, they are so useful to be able to mark down the mistakes I make in a trade and I can see if I'm like, you know, how much money I've lost because of that mistake, how common it is um, compared to other mistakes, all that kind of stuff. It's just so, so useful. So next you can see profit factor. I think this is also a very useful statistic. Um, I think at the moment, this was a very good month for me. Uh, I had just come off blowing up an account, uh, well, not fully blowing it up, but, you know, losing a good chunk. And I had to take a mental reset and, you know, take a week or two off trading, which happened at the beginning of November. And then I came back and, you know, this is how I've been doing at the moment. My average return is $81. Uh, we'll go into this more. Um, they, you know, they give you a lot of statistics, which is great. So, you know, whatever you want to look at, you can. You can see account performance, so you can see how I've been doing. Um, you can also see my win rate. See, my win rate isn't the best, and uh, maybe I want to improve it, but at the moment, I don't mind taking more smaller losses um, for those big, nice wins. Because normally, my return uh, R to R, which is risk to reward, is about one to two. So I think overall, for me, I'm very comfortable with one to two. I do want more one to threes, one to fours, one to fives. But for my setup, I think at the moment, um, one to two is very comfortable, very good. Then you can see hourly. I don't use this too much. I know some other people do, but at the moment, I don't mind when I take the trade. I do have set time limits. If you've watched my bag holder setup, I told you it works way better before 10.30. After 10.30, it gets a lot more complicated, a lot more factors, and just you know a lower win percentage. Um, but that's useful. And then this is a mistakes tab that I'll take you through more in a second. Next is the overview. Um, so this is where you can just kind of see some more statistics about your account or about the month you're looking at. Um, with all of this, you can filter it by symbols, setup, side, mistakes, uh, status, portfolio, dates, and more. You can really, they let you do everything. If you want to filter by just one day and see what those trades look like, then you can do that. If you want to filter by two weeks, you can do that. Uh, if you only want to look at bag holder setups, for example, in my case, I can do that. It's just great. Um, so you can see the, the line chart, you know, you can feel happy about yourself, how it's going up and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, next you can see some of these returns. Uh, you can see accumulative returns. You can see account balance, daily return, return on losers in total, return on winners in total, uh, return on a long return on short profits. So you can see all these great statistics. I'll be going through these a bit more, but I think, you know, they're quite self-explanatory. If you want them, you can keep them, you can change them, all that kind of stuff. Next is the simulator. The simulator is by far, in my opinion, one of the greatest features they have on TraderSync. And 
it's pretty much where you can focus uh, on specific things you want. So for example, I can focus on stocks that are between two and $5 range. I can focus on, like you can see some of the options here uh, in this image where I could focus on just 100 to 119. Um, so if you're if you're someone that trades big caps, you can see, okay, what is the better price range for me? Uh, you know, am I better at trading maybe plus $200 stocks or am I better at trading $5 stocks? You can see all that kind of stuff and you can kind of simulate how it would look like if you only focused on those things. Next for me is day <laughs> monday is not a good day for me i am always very rusty recently mondays have been getting a bit better but uh before for a good period of time mondays just weren't great they just were not my strong suit so as you can see i've simulated here where i only focus on tuesday to friday and you can see that actually i would be performing better at the moment if i had just focused on mondays you would see that i have an overall you know like i go up a bit more steady i don't take as much of a decline and recently i've been doing very good if i didn't focus on mondays so this is all very valuable information to you um obviously you want more data than just maybe a month you probably would want to five to six month period of time where you can see you know if, if that's actually really true if you think uh you know mondays maybe i just shouldn't trade or maybe fridays for you you know maybe you're tired at the end of the weekend you just shouldn't be trading on that day you can also do it by month so if you have two years three years of statistics or i mean trades um you know you could just say oh okay maybe i just shouldn't trade summer i'm just losing money on summer there's no point in me trading summer uh, or maybe it's just the beginning of winter I shouldn't trade or something like that um, all those kind of things which are very very useful and you can simulate this for everything you can do it for mistakes you can do it for price ranges you can do it for months you can do it by hours there's millions of options <laughs> not millions of options but there is a lot of options to pick from so yeah I definitely recommend checking this out uh, as I think it's very useful to easily see what you should be focusing on and not next is my mistakes and this is really really useful for me um i love to keep track of my mistakes i think it's such a useful thing to do i've picked it up from b the trader um i think his actual tag is be the story or but he calls himself be the trader um if you haven't checked out his youtube i would really recommend it um if i remember i'll put a link to his channel in uh, the description because He's great. He does amazing podcasts. He does very good little snippet videos. Overall, a very great guy. Um, so here I track my mistakes. So as you can see, the mistakes don't mean I always lose money. Like early entries, I make them a lot. Okay, a lot of the time. A lot of my trades are early and I still somehow make money. The point of this isn't so much to see what ones are costing you so much money. Obviously, though, things like, okay, forcing trades, that is a clear indication to me that 36% of the time uh, I'm losing money on forced trades, okay? That is a big chunk, and I'm losing like 1.2K for just forcing trades. That is a clear sign to me that, I, you know, that is a mistake I need to fix. I need to get rid of that. It's a stupid mistake, um, and I need to find up a way to combat that mistake. Next could be like, I, I need to, you know, I need to stop going for these bad R trades. A bad R trade would be maybe like a one to one or like a one, one to 1 1.5. I just need to stop doing those trades. Um, but I can really see that early entries is a huge chunk of the time and it's happening way too much. Too many of my, my trades are early entries. And obviously this software can't, you know, predict um, how much money I could have made if I hadn't made that early entry and then got stopped out and then had to re-enter and all that kind of stuff. But it definitely shows to me that that's something I need to work on. I need to be more patient with my entries, need to be more selective. I need to stick to my levels and all those kind of things. But um, if, if you want to track your mistakes easily, it is a hassle to do it in Excel. Um, so that's why I love this. Um, I guess you wouldn't call it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you would call it software even though it's on your web browser. Um, but this website is just amazing for that. Um, very, very good to track those kind of things. Next is setups. This is also so useful um, to be able to identify on each of my trades if it was a bag holder or if it was a short overextended setup. Those are the two setups I trade at the moment. Oh, sorry about that. Um, setups are very useful on this website and i can tag each of my trades with bag holder or short overextension and um, those are the two setups i trade at the moment 
and I can see the returns in total. So I can see maybe if one's doing better than the other, but I think the main way you would use this is by selecting date ranges. I wanna know, you know, in a winter, should I be really trying to focus on my short over extension setups? Like, are they producing way bigger gains than bag holder or are they kind of equal and all that kind of stuff? Or maybe am I losing money on more? Uh, on one of them more. So for short over extensions, I know I'm, you know, I'm getting better at them, but they're still more new to me compared to bag holder. So I've lost more money. Um, only a small bit more, but still, uh, it still matters. Um, I can see the average return, the average profit, the average loser of them. It's just really good. And I can see the win rate. So both very similar win rate because I, I think they are similar setups. They just have different conditions personally. Um, and yeah, this is just absolutely amazing to be able to track this. Um, and also you can do this for all of them. So you can do it by mistakes. You can do it by profit factor, win loss, uh, the amount of trades and all that kind of stuff. So it can show you different statistics by here. It's just the PNL. Um, but I could see like how many mistakes am I making in the bag holder setup compared to the short over extension, uh, or, you know, how many trades have I taken in the bag holder compared to the short over extension. So that's all really useful stuff as well lastly we well no we're getting to the end of it slowly so this is the um what i'll just say like the the classic calculations um on some journaling software or websites you can get these calculations as well you could work them out in excel but it's very nice to just see them straight there for you and to see the the uh, graph over time of how that's you know looked so i can see my biggest profit ever was 12 percent, and my biggest loser was 11 percent. that does say something um that you know when I do get emotional or when those big mistakes are stacking up, my losers can be very big. They can be as big as my biggest profits. And it's something I'm still having to to handle. I need to come up with better ways to fix them. But, you know, it's it, I have time to fix them. I have time to think about what I'm doing wrong and just more experience, I, I'd say. Um, then obviously you can see my average winner is 228 to my average loser of 111. I am very proud of this, pretty much perfect one to two. Um, and that's what I want. I want one to two. So that's very good. You can see in percentage wise as well, if you like percentages more. Um, and yeah, that's, that's a great another statistics little like page. Um, next is hold time. I think this is one of the key ones I always focus on is that I want to be holding my winners way longer than my losers. Um, this is a bit skewed because I know I do have some trades that I've held very long compared to my normal amount. Normally I'd hold them for probably 20 minutes, uh, to 20 to yeah, 20 to 25 minutes. But uh, as you can see here, it says 45 to six minutes. Um, and I'm very happy that my losers I'm not holding for too long. You know, if I can, if I can get that even lower, I will be very happy. But, uh, you know, I think at the moment this, I'm very proud of this. It's taken me a long time to get this and yeah. Lastly, this is also great as well, but if you want to be posting on Twitter or just like look over your month uh, at the end of the month to see how you did, I posted this on Twitter as well. If you want to check it out, I also put some notes about it, but pretty much here you can see, you know, what are my most common mistakes? Um, what are my most common setups on that day uh, and how I did for the overall month? So it's very useful. I can I easily identify what are my most common mistakes here. Um, how my profit was on on those days, how many trades I took. And, you know, I think overall trader sync just gives you a very good uh, system to be able to analyze your trades and pick out things that you should be, you know, trying to fix or that you didn't even know you were doing wrong or maybe you didn't even know you're doing right. Um, and just find your strengths and your weaknesses and then you'll have to go around and try and think of ways to fix them. So definitely check out my affiliate link in the description. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you check it out and yeah, thank you.